This poem was part of a real argument with a real person. Uh, I was very close to at the time, and he was the son of the Archdeacon of Lindisfarne. And a bit of a, a bon viveur and a rue and uh, a sort of all over the place. And uh, very much a kind of modern man. And I could not understand why, in the mid-1990s, he was so against the idea of women priests. And eventually I asked him, I said, look, what is the problem about women priests? And he looked at me and he said, blood. Whereupon I got up and left him and went home and wrote this poem. <clears throat> so, blood makes we women unfit to preside over the tabernacle, the altar, the communion sacrament, unfit to speak to the maker of souls, bodies, yea, matter itself. It is blood makes us unfit to be priests in your Catholic Church. It's all down to molecules, atoms, the polychromatic notes on the biochemical scale. God must not be besmirched by the reality that procreates his own universe. Did Christ not bleed on the cross? Did martyrs not die for the blood of the Lamb? Was Abraham not ready on his whim, knife in hand, to draw blood on the altar, to sacrifice the life of his son, born of woman's blood on the begetting and the birthing, for your ego's sake? This was the man who gave his name to a legacy of compassion, who lived to deliver the tablets from the high mountain, saying that the son should happily forgive the murderous, jealous impulses of the father, who lived to say, honour thy father and thy mother, not in the letting of blood, but in the red glow of understanding. My friend, mock not, nor fear the blood of women shall diminish thy altar. The blood of women is like the cry of the herdsman calling his udder-filled kai home for a kind milking. The blood of women is shed, a black eye, as she laments her man going to a stupid, useless battlefield where the blood of striplings stains the soil with a red undiluted by torrents of tears from heaven, leaving women to bleed monthly with no men to make plants of seed. The blood of women makes possible the worship of the God you claim your own. We do not, cannot claim him as our own. We hope upon a moment he might listen, might know the blood we shed in his name. We cannot help our blood, but offer it as a flower on his altar, as promise that his aura will continue through our pain to light the future dawns and sunsets of this world that we hope he loves. <laughs>